As Thanksgiving travelers lined up at the main security checkpoint in Atlanta, the sound of a gunshot sparked panic. Chaos as crowds scrambled at the Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport and it spilled to the outside of the terminal. Three people were injured in the evacuation. And officials say the weapon went off by accident, but of course there was no way of knowing that at the time. CNN's Nadia Romero is at the airport, so walk us through what happened, Nadia. What do we know? Well, Pamela, what we know is that a lot of misinformation spread very quickly and turned the scene inside of the airport into chaos and confusion for thousands of passengers. Uh, initially, the reports came out that there was an active shooter in one of the terminals. And when you can imagine how people responded to that, running and evacuating from the aer airport, going into terminals, leaving their luggage and all their belongings behind, uh, hiding and hunkering down, believing that there was an active shooter. And that rumor spread much much quicker than the truth. It was shortly after that that the Atlanta airport came out and said this was not an active shooter, but instead an accidental discharge. But that information did not get to the thousands of passengers inside quick enough before so many of them became frustrated and confused and, and very fearful for their lives and the safety of everyone around them. So we do know that it was an accidental discharge. How exactly it happened? Well, a spokesperson from the Atlanta airport tells us that uh, that someone, a passenger, was going through the TSA checkpoint area and it was spotted. His bag was flagged for having a firearm inside. And then the TSA agent went to look inside that bag and the passenger lunged inside, grabbing the firearm and then accidentally discharging that firearm. And when that happened, everything seemed to happen all at once. People began screaming and running and hiding and that passenger fled, leaving the airport in the middle of all of that chaos. So the investigation continues into who exactly that man was, what his intentions were uh, with that gun, but the domino effect uh, still continued thereafter. There was a temporary ground stop, so all the flights coming in and out were stopped here at the airport. People were not allowed to take the trains or escalators. They were basically in a holding pattern while they waited for more information. Well, airport employees didn't want to scare anyone, so they gave very limited details, telling them only that there was an emergency at the airport and they weren't allowed to leave. Well, people then went to social media where they found plenty of misinformation and believed that there was an active shooter until uh, the truth about what happened actually came out and spread uh, to combat the active shooter rumor that was spreading so quickly. Now, right now, the airport is back to normal. You probably hear the planes that are going all around me. That's a good sign here at the busiest airport in the country because it was pretty silent there for a while this afternoon uh, with plenty of cars that had backed up trying to pick up passengers, drop people off as so much information was going around about what happened. Now we're seeing this sense of normalcy coming back, but Pamela, this is far from over. The ATF, the FBI, the TSA, as long as Atlanta, oh, well, as well as Atlanta's airport officials are all investigating exactly what happened and there is a big problem at airports all across the country, people bringing in guns loaded or unloaded to these TSA checkpoints causing major problems. Pamela. All right, Nadia Romero, thank you. And I want to bring in Juliet Kayyem, a CNN national security analyst and a former assistant secretary of Homeland Security. Juliet, nice to see yeah. you. So we keep getting new layers to add to yeah. our reporting, including the passenger lunging at the weapon after it was discovered by X-ray. Does that surprise you that the gun remained within reach after detection? Uh, no, I mean, he lunged at it but didn't get it. And our, our understanding from the TSA statement, which came a little bit after operations were started the, at the Atlanta airport, uh, was that, in, that, that, that it went off you know, as it was in possession of the TSA. So let's just, you know, this is where things that, numbers that will shock you, 450 firearms have been confiscated in the last year at the Atlanta airport alone. People bring or try to bring or forget that they have in their bag uh, a gun. You are not allowed to have a gun 
uh, unless you're law enforcement, on an airplane. It has to be uh, uh, checked. It has to be in a special box. It has to be uh, disclosed to the airline that there are guns. So none of this is lawful behavior. And so I think the only sort of, not the only, but the main part of the investigation is uh, where is this person? The TSA announcement uh, said that he or she left the airport. Uh, they're going to find this person within moments, I would guess, because they have the bag. Uh, but that is the big question right now. Was the intent to do something ill, or was this a panic moment after the gun goes off and, and the guy goes running out of the airport? Right. I mean, how does that happen? Do you view that as a security failure that then the man just runs out? Runs out. That seems surprising to me, just given how crowded airports are this weekend. We're all back and moving again. It's the holiday weekend. Uh, people are traveling for the first time in about 18 months for a lot of for a lot of folks. Uh, so that does surprise me. There's, there's going to be lots of videos. But remember, the gun goes off. Everyone thinks it's an active shooter incident. So so people are, may not be uh, paying attention to the uh, to, to the person running off. So this may have happened in moments. I have no doubt that they're going to figure out who this person is and then figure out intent. So we should not assume anything right now. This is, you know, we've been trying to, to hold off a lot of rumors about what's going on. It was not an active shooter case. And the, uh, people like me who look at what happened, I, I, I'm wary of saying this, but in, in many ways, these, these systems um, anticipate breaches that's why we build security systems, layered security systems. That's what happened today. Uh, and so the Atlanta airport quickly shuts down everything because they don't know what's, what, what might be in store, which was a totally appropriate behavior. And then it takes about two hours to get the processes back up and running so that in that two hour period, it could seem like chaos, but in a weird way, it's a managed chaos. It, is a, it was an appropriate reaction by Atlanta and now get the airplanes and people moving again. All right, and I just want to point out as we await this press conference, yeah. as you well know, Juliet, sometimes um, initially you don't get all the right information, but right. our understanding is that uh, the passenger lunged for the gun and actually was able to grab the firearm and accidentally yeah. discharged it. So that's um, right. Okay. So, so at the, so yeah, so that's no, that's so he, the the uh, the weapon is from the TSA statement is uh, is seen by the TSA agent at that moment. The TSA agent takes it. Now, remember, for a TSA agent, this is you know these this incident, these incidents are happening once a day. So this is made, this is not viewed as something that's like absolutely shocking. They're having 450 of these every year. Mm -hmm. So that's when the passenger lunges at it. And so we're going to have to figure out a protocol where the passenger does not have access to the gun on the other side, right? Most in most instances if the gun was detected, everything would have shut down. So that's what where the review is going to be.